Curse. They are going to be playing some more Grand Theft Auto 5. And what we're going to be doing today is I'm going to be showing you the customization of the De Classe Vamos. Um, it was just recently added. It's based on a Chevy Nova um, SS. Uh, let's get it. It's way at the back. Um, I just thought about one thing. Uh, I am planning on making this a drag vehicle, kind of like my uh, Yosemite over there. Um, because I will show you why um, here in a second. I already have uh, one of the Vamos already um, upgraded and maxed out the way I want it to be, but not not one specifically set up for drag racing. Cool, that went well immediately. Um, but this one, I'm going to show you guys all of the. Um, I hope I'm. That is the reason why I use passive mode. Because there's people like that that will constantly use rocket bikes. And literally the only thing they do is drive around and blow people up. And then people like me that struggle to get money and have to grind at it. Um, get blown up while you're trying to deliver cars. That's why I have that video out of how to get in a solo lobby. Uh, which I will put at the end of this video for anyone interested in that because it is very What's helpful but this car does have a lot of customization to it um, but because I haven't how, how do I want to word this as far as all the vehicles go on my channel that I've tested uh, during Testing Tuesday. The fastest muscle car is the Vapid Hustler as far as, like, the muscle category. That's the fastest one in the straights and on the regular test track. Um, and I haven't tested this vehicle yet. So, I am not putting bulletproof tires on it and I'm not putting armor on it. Um, just in case when I test my other one that does have all that stuff if that gets a better time than a hustler uh, I was originally planning on buying a second hustler to use as my drag yeah my drag to use as my muscle vehicle um, because armor weighs it down and bulletproof tires slow it down a little. Uh, engine, do that. Exhaust. I think what we should do first is the paint. Um, I really don't know how I want to paint this because I already have one of these. Um, what did I paint it last time? I just don't think I want to do the exact same color that I did. Um, I think it was like, it was nautical blue. Yeah, the one I already own, I did nautical blue with uh, chrome trim. But I don't know if I want that. I think I might go with classic red. I want, like, a deep red. That looks too orange. Uh, let's just go formula. Formula red's pretty red. Um, secondary, that only really, to me, looks good in chrome. So let's do that. Um, now we can go back up to the top. We did brakes. Um, bumpers. What do we want for a front bumper? Something that... Okay. I, I'm sorry. This is going to be a lot of moving around because I like to do things in a way that they're not going to be stupid. Um, so I'm going to immediately lower it all the way to the competition suspension um, because that is 
what I'm definitely going to have anyway, and let's do all of the stuff that won't matter. Okay, now we can go back to bumpers. Uh, I'll just scroll through them all for you fairly slow. Um, I kind of like that one, but I also like that one. That is stupid. $200 for like an extra like quarter inch. That's dumb. Painted bumper and splitter. What is the difference between that and the extended chin spoiler? Okay, that one, okay. Um, I don't know if I like that more or the painted bumper with the splitter. I think that one might be a little better. Yeah, let's let's go with this one. Rear bumper. I did see this one. I'm getting this one no matter what. Just because I want to see if there is a way to use the chute, even though I doubt there is. Uh... You have the painted rear bumper, which is nothing special. The wheelie bar and the wheelie bar with the chute. It's I'm like getting that one. Like, yes, Engine, I already did that. Exhaust. Uh, I think this would look good with side exhaust. Where is that even at? Oh. It's in between the wheelie bar. That's what I have on my other car. Ooh. Oh, yeah, 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 the titanium hot ring exhaust. I remember seeing that one. That is the exact one I want. Uh, explosive fenders. I think I want the trim gone. But I, I don't know if I want extended arches on this. I think it looks kind of dumb. But at the same time, it looks like it has a drag racing pedigree to it. That makes sense. I really don't know. Uh, if, at the least, I will delete the trim. We'll have to come back with that. Um, one of my favorite ones on here is the exposed twin turbo. That's a really nice one. Go through all these for you. I saw that one and I got a little bit excited and then when I saw the the dual exposed twin turbo I was like I gotta have that um, hood if they would just have a regular ram scoop I don't remember if they do or not oh really I wish they had the uh, the cowl hood with the with this one I think I'm going to do the high rise ram pipes because that's something you really don't see on many vehicles lights, headlights do them livery um, if I could just get dual black stripes, there you go Let's see what other ones they have I'd like something that really would go well see if if I was making this a regular race car um, I would probably put this on it but because it's a drag car I really I like that that'd be cool if it had the black um, but I'm not much of a rat rod fan oh, that'd be cool if you could get the uh, the side stripes with the upper stripes. I don't know. I might have to just go with that one. Let's do that. Um, plate always got to have my plate that you can't see anyway. So what's the purpose? Uh, already painted it. Roll cage. Have the roll cage. Why? I hate the stunt cage. How it makes it orange. That just looks stupid to me. And it also removes the passenger seat. Um, 
Does that help with any stats? I really don't think it does, but that is a lot of acceleration. I might just go with that to go with the uh, theme that I'm looking for. And I have the vinyl roof on the other one. I think I'll leave it off on there. Uh, spoiler. This should be an interesting one. Oh, yeah, yeah, the extend... I forgot about the extended one. Um, I'm probably going to go with the extended drag wing. Uh, suspension, I already have that all the way down. Transmission, we have that. Turbo, I have that. Now, last thing is wheels. I think I know what I want for wheels because they're pretty... I don't know, like, it was actually not those. Uh, where are they? These. I was thinking about putting these on it and putting them black. But I don't really know. I want something that really goes with the car. Because my other one, I did those exact wheels, but chrome. It could probably... I don't think it would look bad with black steelies on it. I don't know. I think I'm going to go with those. I think they'll look good. I haven't used them in a while on anything. Uh, tire design. Do that. And always, These always, son of a bitch. I did not want to put those on this. Well, we have them now. Shit. I don't want to have to sell this and rebuy it. <laughs> ah, that's a bummer. Okay, I'm not going to touch the windows or anything. Uh, let's go take it for a little spin. And we lag down. Just listen to that. That is a nice sound. Okay, let's get ourselves lined up on the street. I want to just do a, a nice, hopefully a little drag race thing. Oh, I forgot to show you guys. This is the only vehicle that I have driven so far that was a muscle car that can pull a wheelie off being full stock. I was going to show you that at the beginning. Okay, let's see what we can do with this. Oh, okay, it, it definitely will go. Um, let's head down to the uh, airport real quick. Okay, we are down here at the airfield now. I was going to say drag track. Uh, one thing that you do have to watch out for are those little lights to the side, because if you tap one of them, you're not going where you want. Let's try this. Oh my good god. That's a good, good, good car right there. That is a very good muscle car. Because that was just flooring it and I had to do no work. Um, not like with the, uh, the Yosemite. Well, the Yosemite. Um, with that, you have to put a little bit of effort into getting it the way you want it. Like, the Hustler is like the most difficult vehicle the wheelie i just wish that the suspension that lowers it could go even lower this doesn't seem low enough yet yeah, to be able to hold a wheelie every time without having to do any work is very nice to be able to do um hopefully now i'm kind of hoping that this isn't well either way i'm probably going to sell it rebuy it and not put bulletproof tires on it because I want to use it as a drag car. But this is this is amazingly good, and it sounds great. Um, I think I am going to end the video there, though. Uh, 
Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you found it helpful. Uh, and I'll see you in the next one. And if you did enjoy the video, make sure you like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to click one of my previous, next, and related videos. And don't forget to check out my other social medias in the description down below.